Hey y'all, what it do? It's cause don't give no to and my kid. And yes I do. Yeah. And welcome to my city. Y'all should stick around cause your girl need a committee. Come for the attractions and stay for the lifestyle. Peace, people. Welcome and welcome back to Koi City TV. Yes, y'all are about to laugh y'all's butts off if we get through this. I don't know. I almost had to kill my co-host here because I left my plate of food while I had to run off and wash my hands after putting her in this seat. And she was getting a little finicky as she is now. So I'm not going to keep her. We're doing the mukbang. I'm going to show you our plates and then we're going to eat and we're going to chit chat. Okay, because Egypt is... You hear her? She's breathing hard because she is ready to eat. So I have me some um, black beans with brown rice and um, red beans on top with some plantains here on the side, some baked chicken or rotisserie chicken, as well as some stew chicken. The, the baked chicken or rotisserie chicken, Egypt is also having. Um, this is not what she would normally eat off of. This is like... Um, the lid to some cookies that I ordered a couple weeks ago, but I put it on here, her food, so for the sake of the video. So she has sweet potatoes in the middle, some of the rotisserie chicken and her little kibble. And I know she's ready to get with it, so I'ma just go ahead and move her bowl and her plate in front of her and see if she knows how to handle this business. Go ahead, sit up, sit up. Eat your food. No, 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 this is my food, eat your food. Eat your food. She'll figure it out, y'all, I guarantee you that much. Ooh, maybe she won't starting to think this was a bad idea, which it probably still is, but you know, I just I just wanted to share with you all. I love doing things with my best friend, you understand? So a mukbang because Egypt eats and seeing her eat to me is much more entertaining than watching me eat, honestly. Mm. I hope you all have been having a wonderful week. We both have water to drink. How do you like it? It's good. It's good, y'all. So, for my neighbors and people in the Bronx, we have a mural of DMX over on Burke and Holland. If you want to go over and take some pictures, show your respects, drop a candle, leave a candle. It's right um, around the corner from the Spanish restaurant, which is where I got this plate tonight, the plate of food. Uh, from I forgot the exact name of it. I think it's like I'm not even gonna try to guess. I know it's star something like Australia something But I can't be specific because I can't remember but I love that restaurant I'll definitely make sure to have the name by the end of the video and link it in the description box or at least place it in the description box If they don't have like an internet presence The food there is pretty good. I like it. I've always eaten there She likes it. She always eats from there too. The sweet potato, I um, steamed for her earlier today and I gave her a portion of it earlier for lunch and then this portion was left over so I just gave it to her for dinner. Now, I didn't really think this through because now she needs to get down and I'm gonna probably need to help her. Are you thirsty? Hmm. I'm trying to not really use my hands on her utensils too much. Well, she's gonna eat her kibble, which she she really doesn't like to eat too much. But yeah, so we have a mural. Again, it's on Burke and Holland, so definitely swing on by. Um, the mural started, I think they started on Monday, and um, it's been completed, I think, since yesterday or maybe sometime today, I'm not really 100% sure, but I do know while it was in the process, which I'm also gonna add videos and photos for you to see. Um, News 12 pulled up while I was out there and she was like, do you mind if I ask you guys some questions? And let me tell y'all, it was like 8.30 in the morning it wasn't even probably 8.30. Well, yeah, it had to been because I was stopping by the juice bar and the juice bar was open. And a lot of times, you know, I get out in the morning with my walking crew or I get out in the morning by myself, me and Egypt, and we don't always look, you know, it's our morning walk. <laughs> it's not that serious, you know? 
So I woke my dog in the morning and there's BX12. And they like, hey, do you mind if we ask you some questions? Uh, sis, you gotta get my good side. You gotta get my good side. But um, they ended up not showing um, us. So I was like, or I don't know, they might have. I don't have cable. So I didn't see anything, of course, clearly, because I don't have BX12. Um, but I asked around and nobody saw anything. And I'm pretty sure someone would have called me. So I'm assuming they just didn't. Um, they edited it and didn't share that part. I was with my neighbor. He's a diehard DMX fan. And of course, this really hit him very hard. And DMX is a very influential brother, you know? I think that for me, um, a lesson that I learned from his life is, you know, to live in the moment because no matter what he was going through and the brother was going through quite a bit, he didn't let any of it hold him back from being great, from sharing his story, from sharing his passion, from giving a part of him to the world. And I, I can applaud that, honestly. Egypt. Egypt. It's good. You want some more chicken? You do, don't you? This is how, this is when I lose weight and Egypt gets fat. Because baby girl be busting it down. Y'all see her? She be busting it. Now eat the rest of your food. I should have never did that. That was bad. I really shouldn't have did that. She's probably not gonna eat any more of her food. But y'all, did y'all hear about um Usher? Usher Raymond. <laughs> so apparently, or supposedly, a female, a dancer, a stripper, she posted um, something on her Instagram or somewhere talking about Usher tried to pay her or he paid her in fake money or whatever. And then I guess his crew released a statement or his team or his people released a statement. And in the statement, they said that you know, Usher was at the venue celebrating his residency in Vegas and he had this fake money made up as a promotion or something of the nature for his, you know, new residency and that he actually and did pay for his drinks and his dances, but that one of the, his crew members or somebody left behind um, some of the Ush bucks on the table or whatever. And so pretty much I'm going to post a, I'm going to share a shot of this photo is being used here for educational purposes only to inform and share for comparison to real money. Also, congratulations, Usher, on your new residency. Peace. Of what was left behind. But ladies, if you was in the club dancing and you done gave Usher 30, 40, 50 minutes, him and his section of booty shaking and earthquaking, and you, they was making it rain and throwing money, you shaking hard, you going in because the money is coming down, all right? And then once you swept that up and threw it in your bag and you went back to your room and realized that it was Ush Bucks, money with Usher Raymond's face on it, how would you feel? How would you feel? I mean, it's not real money. So we angry, right? But does it still have value? Is there some cultural currency that can be afforded via the web? I mean, like, can you put this on eBay? And is it worth more that way? I don't know. Let me know. How do you feel about that? I think I would have been upset initially for, for certain, okay? Um, but I don't know. Maybe she just posted it as a joke because, like I said, apparently... Um, it was like promotion for his residency in Vegas. And he stated that he actually did pay for his drinks and his dances. So it wasn't no issue. I'm looking at my mouth. Trying to see if I have any discrepancies, but I shaved my mustache. I didn't shave. I got rid of the hair. I'm not going to say how I did it because I'm actually pretty embarrassed because I think I burnt my skin. Burnt my face. It does look a little odd. I hope it does not look any worse <laughs> tomorrow. So I'm probably going to treat my skin tonight and give myself like a, a nice facial and shea moisture around my mouth. I'll probably just use like some um, raw black soap because I don't really want to have like no bumps or nothing around my mouth. Plate myself. You finish? Eat your food. You want this? You want my chicken? Eat your food first and then I'll give you some of my chicken. 
I knew that was a bad idea. She still has kibble on her plate. I don't mind giving Egypt like protein, chicken and stuff, beef, meat, but I need for her to eat. You know, her diet needs to still be majority of dog food. She just can't just jump into my food, you know? This is really good, y'all. The stew chicken is really delicious. Um, it's like marinade, like marinated. That doesn't sound right. Maybe it was marinated and like with peppers and mm, so good. So because I decided to bring Egypt into this episode of my mukbang, I don't have it set up where you can see all of the food. So I feel like mm, I might need to hold my plate a little bit, which can be a little uncomfortable, but I don't really want to use this hand anyway because I was fooling with her um, utensils and stuff. Mm. I can taste all the peppers. It tastes so good. Mm. You know what else I wanted to talk about too? So there was the volcano eruption in the Caribbean, in St. Vincent. I think St. Vincent Grenadines or something like that. And this volcano has not erupted in like 10 years. And it erupted. And all over Instagram, cause you know, I follow certain types of people, I guess. They were like, oh, first, you know, they say the vaccine is optional. And now look at this. You didn't have the vaccine, you got left behind because apparently um, well, they made it seem like on Instagram that this volcano erupted and it was such a deadly concern or situation that everyone needed to evacuate and that only persons who had the vaccine were able to evacuate. And I, I'm not going to say that that's not true because I'm not there. I can't speak, you know, firsthand to say, you know, what is true or isn't true. <laughs> she gave up looking at me. She just laid down. But what I will say is that, um... After I read that information on Instagram, I went to BBC News and I tried to find, like, you know, other stories. And, you know, it does seem like um, this hurricane is a big deal. I'm sorry, volcano was a big deal. And that it has been more eruptions. Like, the volcano has erupted since its initial eruption. And it is causing for evacuation of the land. But it doesn't seem like the people of the land want to leave. They seem like they're like, no, we're if it's meant to be, it's meant to be. We're going to go with our land. We're staying here. So I don't know if... Um, People were not given the option to leave if they were not vaccinated, if that's true or not. But what I did read was that um, there was a certain amount of people who have been, um, what's the proper word? Like they were there for work, um, like sharecroppers and things because um, St. Vincent's has a lot of natural resources. And uh, these persons were farmers of sorts. And those persons, majority of them were sourced from Canada, I guess. And those persons, excuse me, were evacuated. They were actually supposed to have had left before the eruption happened and um, became stranded due to the eruption happening. And um, they were then offered evacuation and there were cruise ships that were circling and awaiting for them if they wanted to leave and things like that, which most of those persons left because they weren't from there anyway. They were from Canada and they were ready to head back home. Of course, if a volcano erupts, we're out. But it seems like the natives are like not my land. It, we're staying right here. So I don't know if it's like a real scenario of if you weren't vaccinated, you can't get on. But uh, that is how it came across on Instagram. So I thought that was a little bit interesting. I'm like a person who's always like, oh, you got to read things a little bit more. Ever since the fake news era of two, <laughs> ever since the fake news era and the fake news era leader. Um, we can't take things at face value that we see on the internet. Especially when somebody just takes a photo that can be photoshopped or was a part of a certain event prior and that event is no longer the, in, you know, the case. But they're going to take that photo from that event and use it for something else, you know? That type of stuff happens all the time. And certain groups of people who are in favor of that fake news era are the ones who are going to continue to push stuff like that. So, you know, I will say that it is important to um, do your, your due diligence and make sure that you have the full story, you know. 
So I also got a little garlic sauce. I call it garlic. I think it's called mojito at the restaurant and I like to pour it over my rice and beans even though I know that most people put it on the chicken or use it for like a chicken dipping sauce or something. But I like to put it on my rice and beans. It adds like an extra flavorful kick. Mmm, mmm. And it's really just garlic. Like probably with some additional herbs and seasonings. It's really good. <laughs> I hope I have a good mukbang picture because I didn't even think about it um, initially. <laughs> but um, yeah, man, Usher is too much. I mean, his team could have probably just cleaned that up real quick, but imagine. Imagine seeing Usher come in the club. You know, the ladies was like, Usher's here, Usher's here, Usher's here. Oh, Usher, right, man? Usher, baby. And if he was really in the club throwing that fake money, that's, that's ultimate cap. That's uncool. That's beyond uncool. Mmm. You breathing kind of hard over my food. You already ate your food. Get out of here. This probably wasn't a good idea because she's in a seat that's a little bit higher than mine, so I kind of have to help her down. You know my dog is a senior now, so I don't be playing about her knees. I don't really want her to jump from up this high anyway. Mm. This was good. But this video was already 21 minutes. This food was delicious. Usher got some nerves. I'm praying for the Caribbean. It's important to stand ground on your land. So I respect the movements of the natives who are like we're not going anywhere because once you leave you really don't know what's going on or what's happening you know but at the same time those volcanoes are steadily erupting so safety first put yourself first think about what you're doing they said that this is actually even going to spill over to affect the neighboring um islands like barbados and um i forgot what else was around but they said that it's a possibility that these volcanoes erupting are going to affect more than just St. Vincent. So I'm praying for you all, wishing for the best, hoping that you make timely and effective decisions to do what's best for yourself, you know? And um, I mean, you know, RIP to DMX. And um, so with that being said, you know, the vibes, like, comment, share, and subscribe. Then turn on that button to Egypt. Tell them. Right there. Look in the camera. Tell them. Say, get notified. We still working on I love you. She hasn't graduated. Say, I love you. This is how, this is how you say I love you to Egypt. Give her chicken. <laughs> so I'm gonna go ahead and wrap this up. As I was doing, give Egypt some more of my chicken because she's steadily breathing over wanting it. But you guys be great, be safe. Um, good job, Egypt. Cheers. Peace out. Your girl looking for her tribe. I need a thousand neighbors just to get by. So like, comment, share, and subscribe. Then turn on that button to get notified.